So these are the top 10 military movies based on a true story. This is American Sniper. This one may be a little obvious to most, but this is a, of arguably one of the most lethal Navy SEALs sniper, Chris Kyle. From my research, and by research I mean Google, he had 160 confirmed kills. My god, the depression that hit me at the end of this movie was deep. Being killed like that while trying to help a fellow soldier is just preposterous. It's tragic. Anyways, it's a great movie. <laughs> In 2005, a vicious firefight led to one of the most extraordinary stories of bravery from the war in Afghanistan. A team of Navy SEALs was sent into the mountains to hunt Mikey, for a militia leader, left is good. but only one again, left SEAL is good. came out alive. This came out in 2013. There's been multiple books written about Operation Red Wing, but this movie is based on the one authored by the lone survivor himself, Marcus Luttrell. I think I pronounced his name right. Now I can't speak on the truth to sauce ratio in this movie, but let me just say, now if you just do a little basic Google search on the details of the encounter with the Taliban, it seems like Hollywood didn't let the truth get in the way of a good story. However, even if a third of the story was accurate, that's enough to make any Boy Scouts pieces short. I myself still have PTSD from basic training, let alone that level of stress. So if Marcus said they encountered 10,000 Talibans, then shit. He said what he said. Jokes aside though, this movie is really good and it had me in my feelings watching all them soldiers get mowed down like that. I know you didn't see the movie, but how much of what was in the script was accurate? Every bit of it. Everybody died. Like in the movie, when you see those guys falling down a mountain, it looks cool. Imagine going past cool to when it looks like chaos. Imagine playing your favorite sport on the side of a mountain with people shooting at you. It didn't look cool. I was like, if it, it looked horrific. Look sexy. I mean, I, 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 it was terrible. I mean, like, it's getting ripped apart. And like, we would come in and the guys would just be like, Matt was shot in the face and it was kind of, his eyes were gone. And I, I, I couldn't believe it when y'all showed up. I signed up to be an expendable asset, to die if necessary. That was the sexiest thing I ever heard of. I was nobody. I'm, you know, I have a special skill. I'm an expendable asset. You work till you become dependable and they'll kind of keep you around. Saving Private Ryan. Now, this depicts the storming of Omaha Beach during World War II, and it's said to be loosely based on the Nylon brothers from New York. Two had died in Normandy, and a third shut down over the Burma jungle. He was MIA, so presumed dead. Now, Private Ryan didn't want to go home, but based on the social survival rule they had back in the days in the military, they had to send the last kid home. Now, Hollywood put a lot of sauce in this movie because, for one, Private Ryan was actually a sergeant. And unlike the movie, a chaplain actually found him, not some badass SEAL team. It's Hollywood. They gotta sell tickets, so we're gonna give them a pass for this one. But it's a crazy movie if you haven't seen it yet. Blessed be the Lord, my strength, which teaches my hands to war, and my fingers to fight. Valkyrie. These events took place in 1944. It accounts for the attempted assassination of Adolf Hitler. Apparently, this movie actually follows the true events very closely, unlike most Hollywood movie depictions. Now, Tom Cruise definitely killed it in this movie, so you should definitely check it out. Then he'll notify all district commanders that the SS is attempting to seize power. Then Stauffenberg will have returned to Berlin and taken command of the reserve army. Fitzleben and I will assume the roles of Commander of the Armed Forces and Head of State. Mohammed Farah Aydin! I am in Kamnalo! Kuruba! This movie is based on the Battle of Mogadishu that took place in Somalia in 1993. This in and out mission was supposed to take only 30 minutes, by the way. Even though this movie depicts just a handful of servicemen, it involved over 450 men who were deployed to Somalia at that time. One of the few of the military birds took RPGs, and some of them were able to stay in the air till they got to the clear, but the others, they fell right in the center of the ambush.
this movie needed to look and feel very real. We did hire a number of military experts. Ex-Navy SEALs, dev group guys, and tier one SAS guys to walk us through so we could see exactly how these guys do it. This movie is based on a very real story, hence why it's on this list. Setting all the noise aside, it's said to be one of the most accurate movies that doesn't stray too far away from the truth. They even went as far as recreating a replica of what they assumed the stealth helicopter to look like and shipped it all the way to the Middle East to shoot this movie. Now all that said, according to ScreenRants.com, the director of this movie, Catherine Bigelow, has been accused of being in the habit of exaggerating certain aspects of reality. Hey! Allahu Akbar! Hey! Put your hand out of your pocket! Hey! No! Hey, what's your name, soldier? Jimmy Nakayama! I, I, I got a baby being born today! Oh, wow! Congratulations! Thanks! With some minor alterations for dramatic effect, this movie depicts the true story that happened in the Battle of Lang Dang in November 1965. And this was a battle between the US and Vietnam. And the soldiers, presumed to be KIA in that battle, were in the thousands. It got so bad at some point that the US troops had called for fire, damn near on their own coordinates. Now, that call for fire might have possibly won the battle, but some US soldiers were killed in that assault. We gotta get him to the landing zone! Now this here is a crazy ass scene watching his skin peel right off the bone. Ugh! Get out of the way! Honorable mentions. There's certain reasons why this movie didn't make the list, and I'll touch on that a little later, but you let me know what you think, if it should have made the list or not. Now an extraordinary rare chance to see something many of us have only seen in the movies. As you know, Hurt Locker won the Best Picture Oscar. Now this one is not exactly based on a true story, but it's based on a first-hand account from a freelance journalist who was embedded with an ordnance team in Iraq. On that being said, there's been rumors that it's based on a specific soldier's life and even defamation lawsuit was filed. However, couldn't find enough proof that any of the characters in the movies was based on a real person. So what y'all think? Will you tell him to put his radio back on, please? Uh, that's a negative. Delta One, this is Zero One. Confirm new mission orders. Over. Do you read Delta One? Withdraw at once and fall back to base. And those are my orders. Over. Danger close. Now, this is a 2019 movie based on the Battle of Long Tan and the Australian Army versus Vietnam. Now, this was a real battle that happened, but for my research, and by research, I mean Google. I believe the characters in the movies were totally fictional. So this list is based on the true events and I try to keep it from a first person experience. So this movie didn't quite make the list. That said, I had to mention it because it's pretty good. Go fuck your orders. Oh, oh my God. I'm shot. Bastards got me. Oh. Get off my fucking leg, oh. Jesus! <laughs> Some bloody rescue here! 1917. This movie is based on accounts that took place in World War I, specifically focuses on two hours in one day. The director kind of weaved the truth with fiction in this movie because off tomorrow morning, the truth that this movie was based on were stories that the director slash writer's grandfather had told him as a kid. So what do you think? Should this have made the list as well? Let me know in the comment section below. Your brother among them. Good luck. Private Doss is praying for you. Who the hell is Private Doss? Hacksaw Ridge. Now this is one of the stories I didn't believe that actually happened, but this is a story based on a beyond brave combat medic during World War II named Desmond Doss. Now this guy had to be the most hated person in his platoon because he was the one person that refused to bear arms, even in war. Now how do you watch a battle but he's back without a weapon? It said that he was able to save about 75 soldiers without firing one single shot. This story was sourced by Terry Benedict's novel, The Conscientious Objector. Now granted there gotta be a lot of sauce in this movie to make it dramatically effective, but for those of you who don't like sauce and like to eat your salad without dressing, here's a picture of the book. I was praying the whole time. I just kept praying the Lord, 
please help me get one more. 19 men attacked our country. The 12 of you will be the first ones to fight back. Now, going into this movie, I gotta say, I was very skeptical. Like, no fucking way these guys were in Afghanistan and some goddamn horses. But boy, was I wrong. 12 Special Forces soldiers were deployed to Afghanistan weeks after 9-11 on some mother <laughs> horses. That said, from my research, all 12 soldiers survive. The Outpost. Now this one is still on Netflix at the time of this recording. And this movie is based on the Battle of Kamdesh, located in Cap Keaton, that happened in 2009. This base was notorious for being under attack. The Outpost was named after First Lieutenant Keaton, who died three years earlier than shown in the movie. So yes, Hollywood did add a little sauce on this one. Because we know, Hollywood isn't about letting the truth get in the way of a good story. Two, one. We're gonna be all right. Go, 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 let's go. Come on. Come on. You got it, Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. And those are the top ten baddest military movies that were based on true stories. Click here for more top ten videos. Till next time, peace.